if there is one notion that is completely distorted and misunderstood in this world, it must be the notion of beauty. Beauty contest, beautiful people, beautiful cars, beautiful houses, clothes, legs, furniture, websites, paintings, songs, writings. Even scientists are trying to prove that this concept has a correlation in reality and please remember the cosmetics industry, which is basically just a huge pile of people on planet Earth creating and selling stuff, mixtures of chemical compounds only to enhance one's look, is worth 17 billion per year in the US, Europe and Japan alone. I'm sure all of you have used this word many times to describe various things from people to objects and feelings, but what do you really mean when you say what a beautiful girl or this is such a beautiful painting? Because this notion is so vague, I will try to break it down in three categories, culture, design and science. Today we are talking about culture. Take a look at this picture. They were the goddesses of pleasant charm, of charitable deeds and of gratitude. They were presented as three beautiful virgins. But in today's society, these three girls would probably be diagnosed with social anxiety due to their probable social exile because of what is perceived today as their ugly fat bodies. These beauty goddesses are depicted in many paintings and statues and they differ from culture to culture and the time they were depicted. During the prehistoric era, the performing arts which have been preserved are figures of women in precise face and strong exaggeration of body parts related to maternity. According to the Egyptian canon of beauty, a woman should be thin, with small members but wide hips and small and shapely breasts. In the 15th century, upper-class ladies of Northern Europe painfully plucked their hairline to make their foreheads seem higher. The 1920s was a decade when women didn't want to look like women at all. We can't imagine that men today would find this sexy, but some women of the 20s era would even bind their chest with strips of cloth to achieve a little boy look, quite contradictory to some of the measures that today's women take in order to amplify their chests. Victorian women were very body conscious. Sexy meant having the smallest waistline humanly possible. In order to achieve this look, women wore corsets. Some corsets were worn so tight that women could hardly breathe to the point where sitting down was completely out of the question. Many women would even break ribs trying to get their waistlines down to an inconceivable 12 inches. Since humans first appeared on Earth, the way female beauty was depicted has been dependent on culture and time. Short legs, long legs, fat body, skinny body, long hair, short hair, tall, short, big eyes, small eyes, white skin, black skin. Today, many girls want a darker tan to be more beautiful, but a few centuries back, having a milky white skin was the main characteristic of a woman's beauty. What is beautiful today, a few centuries or even decades ago, would have been ugly, even gross. A skinny beauty model today may have been rejected by all males a hundred years ago. But ideas of physical beauty haven't fluctuated just for women. The concept of beauty regarding males is just as fluctuating and ancient. In the ancient world, men's beauty was seen in one's muscular body, a semi-bodybuilder type of a body. But in the Renaissance period, a beautiful male body was someone who appeared unable to do a great deal of physical labor. In the 17th century, good-looking males were those who had a long-haired wig, which is mainly associated with females today. 18th century. As you can see again, the way males look and even the gestures were more closely related to how women were perceived over other periods of time, including today. Men's chest hair was a sign of masculinity not long ago, but now it may be regarded as unattractive. A few years ago, suggesting to a guy that he should shave his chest would have been ridiculous. Yet today, this is quite widely accepted and no longer associated only with females. So you see, these things continually change from era to era for both males and females. All of the above examples were widely accepted notions of beauty at various periods of time, but we all know that this notion is far more varied. It is also interesting to note that whatever may be seen as beautiful today may be seen as ridiculous and ugly or even grotesque tomorrow. Also, there are many cultures in the world where the notions of one's physical beauty is contradictory to what other cultures regard as such. What is beautiful in this culture may be regarded as ugly in another one. Go and check the TVP magazine to read more about this subject.
links in the bucket below. Peace. A blessing will it be when the meek inhabit the planet with no deprivation? The weather is no application fee. Just grab you a copy of the best that money can't buy. This is your future by design.